I don't really like that you can see half of the Rick and Morty poster, but... No, but that's okay. How are we introducing this? <laughs> it's your channel, dude! Okay, hi. <laughs> so, four years ago, Michaela and I did a best friend video, and four years before that, we did a best friend video. So like freshman year of high school and then my freshman year of college, we did one. Um, and now it's been another four years. This is really bizarre. Yeah, it is. Okay. So now we're gonna do another one. Um, so age is what, 14, 18, and now 22? That's horrible. Ugh. Have we already passed our, our 10th anniversary of like being friends? Um, I consider us becoming friends in the eighth grade, so we're about a year away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Smosh. Yeah, Smosh. What's your full name? <laughs> your zodiac sign. Let's I do- <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do- we're, I'm gonna tailor this one a little more. <laughs> okay. To what are your three- like what's your sun, moon, rising, and do, do you think it fits you? Yeah. Pisces, sun, uh, Capricorn, moon, Sagittarius, rising, and like, it's fairly accurate. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Mine's Taurus Sun, Libra Moon, Leo Rising. And I think that fits me decently well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're making a best friend video. Oh, is there candy? Alright. What are your three greatest fears? God. Probably like losing my home. Um my house burning down, because that was a legitimate uh, concern like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, losing, I mean like very broadly, losing people and or places that I love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fascism. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fascism. I don't, I really don't like bees. <laughs> My three greatest fears. Um, failure, dying, uh, and oh, the crushing weight of all of the mistakes I've made. What are three things that we love? I love rain after a really long dry stretch. Yeah. And yeah. smelling the rocks. Oh yeah. Yeah, petrichor, right? Isn't that the yeah. And I love large bodies of water um, being near them. I love senses of community. I love the sense of belonging in a space. Nice. I love solitude, po like positive solitude, <laughs> like just being with myself and like chilling. But I also love my friends and learning new things. Yeah. Yeah. Those so, are all good. I like reading a good book. Well, this is an easy question. Who's my best friend? McKen Mackenzie Smith. Yep. Right back at you. Cool. Your best yeah. friend is also Mackenzie Smith? No, it's, it's Rito. Or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Michaela. <laughs> it's Bucky. <laughs> Okay, what's the last song you listened to? It would be the same because we were listening to my daily mix number three in the garage. We were listening to daily mix number three, so. Um, I think it? it was Flamboyant. I think it was Flamboyant by Dorian Electra. Yeah. All oh. right. Oh no, it was it no Control was... by One Direction. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the best song of all. The best song of all time. How do you feel right now? Um, I feel fine. I feel happy to be home and to be here with my. Best friend and my sister. Yeah, Tara's in the corner. I feel yeah, I feel content right now. Just like hanging out in, mm -hmm. in your house. In the moment, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm also like base level kind of stressed because I am applying to schools and I need to do like just get it done and it kinda hit me this morning that I don't have to go to work for two weeks and I'm very I'm happy good. about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's always a good one. What's something you really, really yeah. want? Financial independence. Yeah. 
These answers would have been so different four years ago. Oh, totally. I feel like, and I do pretty, I basically have that already. But more so I than most people our age. Yeah. I want to achieve my dreams. Because only like fairly recently have I like discovered my dreams. Figured out what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. But then that's, I don't know. I guess what I would really want is confidence in, I don't know, faith that I can like be successful in that and that the industry is not going to collapse. Yeah. Because that's like the feel, like I don't fear that's true. that I lack the ability. Mm -hmm. um, I fear that the industry is going to collapse and like totally. my abilities will be pointless. I feel that too. Yeah. Because journalism and photography kind of all go hand in hand. So I think my, I, my greatest, I just want to be happy. Yeah. And I think that kind of goes hand in hand with financial independence and like being able to work on your goals and like achieve what you want to achieve. I don't think you have to have those things to be happy, but I do think it helps mm -hmm. and like is a part of like living a full life. So I want to live in a world um, where COVID doesn't exist. But I also I feel like it'd be <clears throat> difficult to go back. It's like everybody's eyes have been open now to how bad it was before. And I think we can fix things. Yeah. I just want to fast forward to when we fix things. A hypothetical world where we learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I really don't know. I feel like I'm kind of accepting, like, failure on a lot of levels. I don't have a lot of faith that it will, but I have hope that we can. Does that make sense? Yes, I think yeah. I'm on the same page as you. Yeah. Um, I think this one's funny, so we're gonna do it. What's the meaning behind your Tumblr URL? So mine does actually have, like, a story. It comes from the quote from The Fault in Our Stars that Amelia printed out and put on that gift bag. Oh. Um, that she made like a collage gift bag, you know? I didn't actually know that. Um, yeah, the quote goes something along the lines, "You, ha it's like, you have no idea how utterly unprecedented you are. It's really something. But anyways, it came from that quote, from, it came from a quote in The Fault in Our Stars. Um, mine is a Fall Out Boy lyric. And I still have it because I haven't bothered to change it because it is just, it's classic. It's class. It's, it's classic Rito. But is it? Because I had three <laughs> Tumblr URLs before that. What were your previous Tumblr URLs? Um, the first one was... Well, when I first started YouTube, I went under a different name. So the first one was under that different name. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna say what it is, because I don't care to have people know. Um, and then the second one was Panic at the Reichenbach, because I liked Panic at the Disco and Sherlock. I remember that one. Which is actually a pretty good URL, but really cringy. It was really good for its time. It's good for its time. It's a sign of 2011, 2012. My third one was Save Wizard Rock and Roll. Mm. Because I was into Harry Potter and Fall Out Boy. And Wizard Rock is a thing that existed. But um, then I switched to Well Read and Poised because somebody was giving it away. It was somebody else's URL and they were like, I don't want it anymore. And I was like, I'll take it. Nice. That was fine. All right, what's your favorite movie? Across the universe. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Moulin Rouge. Nice. I yeah. don't think those answers have changed since I the last one. I don't think those have changed yeah. since the last one, no. Um, what's your favorite song? I think it makes more sense this time to just say what's your favorite song right now. Because I don't think our favorite songs of all time have really changed. Well, I don't know. I feel like the last one, favorite song of all time, I probably said Welcome to the Black Parade. Oh, yeah. Which that's my, that's probably not the same anymore. It's changed. Yeah. I don't my, know. My favorite song of all time is still Northern Downpour. Huh. Okay. That hasn't really changed for me. I don't know that I have a favorite song of all time. Okay. Currently. I feel like I think of albums a lot. My favorite albums of all time have been reaffirming themselves lately. Can I say that like in place of one song? Yeah, that's fine. It's... Yeah, so like the first Harry Styles solo album, mm -hmm. um, Hesitant Alien. The whole, it, my most recent favorite album of all time is uh, Twin Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do associate that album with you a lot. Yeah. For In sure. the last like year, the album, I've listened to that a lot. Yeah. I've been listening an insane amount to Where Do Broken Hearts Go by One Direction. Oh! Oh yeah! I think we can all agree that that's the best song of all time, so that's my answer. I was actually 
going so hard to that song in my car the other day that I seriously almost crashed my vehicle. <laughs> That's a vibe. Like, I was going so fast that I had to stop myself from running somebody because I... Where did broken hearts go? Not, not very long, like a month or so ago, I was listening to the live version of Kiss You. I was jamming out in my room and I accidentally punched my ceiling and I really <laughs> hurt my fist. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite band? Mine is the 1975. I'm actually wearing a 1975 t-shirt right now. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt that I found in the bushes <laughs> and I washed it and I, I took it home and now it's mine. <laughs> yeah. I was there, it's true. Pointed out your shirt. I'm like, Bush you. baby. What? You're Bush baby. <laughs> I thought you said Butch baby. Both. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. The first one that came to mind was One Direction. Yeah. That's like the most like recent band that I've been that's become a favorite. I became a fan of One Direction in April of 2020. Yeah. I just feel like that's an interesting For 20. Time. For 2020. Um also car seat headrest though. Like that's what other Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Nice. And that's mine now too. Anyway, yeah, my favorite um holiday is Christmas now. Because I like to receive. Yeah. What's a confession? I knew you were gonna do that one! A confession? Anything you would tell a priest. I've never talked to a priest. Like, neither have I. I. So well, awesome. okay, Confessions of a Shopaholic. I went on fiarucci.com, which is a designer website, and bought three masks for $60. Which is really stupid, but they are good masks. I bought designer COVID masks. Wait, can you- do you tell a priest, like, good things that you've done? No, you- you go to confessionals and be like, Father, I've sinned. Okay, well I did a really good thing today. Well, you can confess a good thing. You could just go no, to the Pope to flex. <laughs> That's what this would be! I gave- today, driving down I-5, there was really bad traffic for, like, 40 minutes. And anyways, there was somebody who had ran out of gas on the side of the road. And I rolled my window down and I gave him, like, $15 and some snacks. Gonna have some snacks in my car. Cool! Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. That's my confession. I don't know. All right, what's your favorite animal? A fox, still. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I like dogs. Bears oh, are shit. pretty cool. Like, recently I've had like a growing interest in bears. Have you heard? I know. Have you heard this song? It's it's not like, I don't think it's a like a real song. Um, but it goes like, oh yeah, three bears and 10,000 rats. Okay. Right, back to the questions. Don't put that in there. An embarrassing moment. <laughs> Just now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's an embarrassing moment for you? Oh, an embarrassing moment for me is when I was in middle school, I had discharge for the first time and I went up to this random girl that I didn't know and asked her <laughs> if it was normal to secrete clear. <laughs> She was just like, uh, I guess, and I was like, thanks. <laughs> uh, what's your bad habit? Procrastination. Yeah, mine is yours. Yeah, procrastination. Mine's chewing my nails. I still do that. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, honestly, I feel like that's a pretty neutral habit. Like, mm -hmm. it's not great, it's a little bit gross, but like. Mine's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. down to the quick. Down to the quick. What's your favorite store? Fred Meyer. The kick the PJ shop. <laughs> Ulta. Sometimes I go okay. into Ulta and I'm just like, yeah, it's nice in here. Who's your celebrity crush? Harry Styles, Sebastian Stan, Kristen Stewart. Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. Sometimes takes top spot. <laughs> Look at that picture of it. That picture of like of the puppet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I wanted. Uh, the last question is any question we like. So fire away. Why did I just transfer that thought to your mouth and you say it? What's your shame? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, it is a small bit. <laughs> What's your favorite memory with me, like recently and or of all time? Okay. Can I pick a couple? Yeah. Okay, so my favorite early memory of us, I think I've told this to you before. Swafting. God, <laughs> my favorite early memory of you is us talking about the super amazing project under that tree. Oh yeah, waiting for buses. Yeah, in high school, like freshman year of high school, and that's yeah, that's just a good memory. It's like a happy one. And then um, 
Oh, another early one that I really like is showing you sound figures. I knew, I was like kind of waiting for you to say that. Yeah, yeah. that was really funny. Oh, the art museum. Mm. For about three, four years ago. Yeah. Four years ago, probably. Just like, there's like a lot of weird stuff there at that time. And I, we just had a really good reaction to it. Favorite recent memory with you was just like a couple weeks ago. I mean, the Lord of. Okay, first, like, watching Lord of the Rings with you has become a new favorite yeah thing and that but then just that zoom call that lasted for like seven yeah. hours that was awesome that was great yeah, yeah I really totally. that's definitely my favorite read on memory in recent history yeah yeah that was fun it was a good conversation mm -hmm. we've had a couple of those during COVID yeah just like long zoom or FaceTime calls yep I like those yeah I like good. they're always good like vent sessions but also just like talking about whatever yeah yeah being able to like think about stuff that you don't really get to think about on your own. Like it's nice to have like another perspective. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and we can. We're just like on the same. This we're on the same wavelength so much of the time. Yeah. We can like. We're talk like about going through anything. similar stuff at the same time. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Asthma. Asthma. If you could go anywhere right now, where would it be? First place that came to mind was Japan. Nice. I'd really like to go back to Japan one day. Go on another damn tour. I'm the first thing that comes to my mind. I want to go back to France really badly. Yeah. How, I have a special connection with France. Like I've been, it's the only country I've been to twice. That mm. isn't America. Like I've been to America <laughs> countless times. But yeah, it's the only foreign country I've been to more than once and I really like it. Even though sometimes the people look at me like they don't like me, <laughs> I enjoy I, the pace mm. of France a lot. Which means I probably would enjoy like, Italy too, I guess, because they're kind of similar. I would like to see more than just Paris. Basically all I saw was Paris, and then yeah. like wherever we drove through. Mm -hmm. but. I've heard like the middle of France, like what, where there's more like villages and stuff is really nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, France sounds nice. I'd like to go back. I'd right. like to go anywhere. Yeah. Almost anywhere. Yeah, that's true. With COVID, it's like, I haven't really gone places in a long time. Anyway, I guess that could be the video. Yeah. We can still hang out and talk, but that's the end of the video. It was a good video. I'm glad, yeah. you're, I'm glad you're my friend. I'm glad we've been doing these videos for eight years. I feel weird that I act, I feel like I don't remember the in-between one. I remember the one from we can watch when it. we were babies. Yeah. When we were freshmen in high school. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the freshmen year of college one. Yeah. Where did, where did, was that also in this room? It was. This was still your room. This is Tara's room now. Yeah, but at that time it but wasn't in my It room. was yeah. your room still. Yeah. All right. Good video. Whoever Don't forget watching. to subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring, ring the bell. Get out of my room.